Welcome everyone, we have something very quick, very fast to get a lot of gold. If you look into my inventory, currently I have 42 of those coins. So let me just loot this one and just show you how amazing it is. And my gold is instantly over 50,000. So in this video, I will show you guys how to get about 5,000 gold in 30 minutes. And let's get into it. So coming over to our notes, the concept of this video is we will be going back to do rapports for tier 1 and also tier 2. Now I do run to recommend the tier 2 players do the tier 2 ones first and then come back to the tier 1 if you still have the spare currency. But if you don't have tier 2, then you can do the tier 1. So by looking at the tier 1, I think at the 700, 700, you get about 2,000 gold, about, you get about 1,900 gold in tier 1. And for tier 2, you can easily get 4,020 gold in less than 30 minutes and there's 800 more gold to get. So there's about 5,000 gold together for tier 2. So if you do both, you get close to 7,000 gold very quickly. Now how does this work is that if we come to the rapport, you know that there is rapport with certain NPCs that gives you gold if you get them to the blue, if you get them to the green level or if you get them to the teal level to friendly. Now certain NPCs gives gold, not all of them gives gold. So what I did was I spent some time checking all the NPCs and I do believe by now we can do the second tier of the quest, which are the teal quest. So what I do is for this video, instead of doing the tier ones, I'll give you guys a full follow through guide for tier two. And you can do the similar method for tier one, which should be much easier. So here I'll show you guys a really good replays of the location of the tier two NPCs, where to get them, how to do them, and how to get about 5,000 gold in 30 minutes. So now when we open up the tab for adventure and going to report, we want to be coming to Froton. This opens up at 960, and if you don't know how to get to 960 from 600 very quickly in about 5 hours, make sure you check out previous guide, which I have in the links below for you guys. So all four of those NPCs will give you gold, and the first layer of gold is 900. So over here, the, the location of the NPC is revealed over here as Nameless Valley, Kaja City, and also Kaja City. Now, one thing to notice is I'll show you guys what NPCs have first. So because I just did it, then I show you guys the video recording of how to do each of those. So the first NPC is located over here with with Jedi Deco. And after that, the second NPC, the priestess, is on the second layer. You have to take the stairs, then you come to the second layer and speak to her. She does take a little running. Finally, the cat is located over here. So those are the three NPCs I found. Now, unfortunately, I actually didn't unlock the final quest. I didn't actually do this quest. I couldn't find it. So I didn't actually get him. But if you get him, you can get about 800 gold in about 10 minutes as well. So 300 instant gold and 500 of the friendly gold. Now coming over to re uh, replays, you can see that we can get the instant gold by just reporting the NPCs. A few things I want to give you guys a tip about, notice I got the 900 gold here. The few things I want to give you guys a tip about is the report gifting items are actually basically, so let me show you guys over here. So the report items that you give to NPCs are graded. Notice the purple ones, you want to find the purple ones that gives her a little higher. Notice this one goes 330, the other ones give 300. So when we go into our bags and you can see we likely have a lot of those rapport boxes that is available for us. So make sure you go into the rapport boxes and select the one that give her slightly higher rapport rating. Or of course you can just select any ones because most of them do have the similar rating, but some of them will give her a little higher. As you can see over here, some of them will give her 300, some of them will give 330. It's not a big difference. The only difference is you got to notice that the grade of the rapport item. I believe the relic level gives 10,000, the gold level or the legendary level gives about 2,000, and the purple level give, give about 300. If you're you know, a little lazy, you don't have to select one by one and double check. Those flat ones will give those ratings. So out of the purple ones, you usually get 300. The golden ones, 2,000, and the, the, the relic ones will be 10,000 to give to her. Make sure you don't overgive though. You want to get her to Firstly, you want to get her to the green level and you want to get green level to level 3 to go to the teal level for the next 900 gold. Now, when you first come to the NPCs, you can get 900 gold from each of the first two NPCs very quickly simply because they just need you to report them. And similarly, there's a little kitty over here you want to report with it. And one thing to notice with this kitty is the kitty actually doesn't require a chain quest. So what happened with other NPCs is, if you want to get them from the, from the green level to the teal level to friendly, you have to do two rapport quests, which I'll give you guys some tips about. So with the kitty, you just keep reporting the kitty to level 3 with the green level, and then move over to the 
to the teal level. So you can keep giving the kitty the gift and the gift given to the kitty are very low in terms of rapport. And you can easily get about, you know, 600 gold easily from the kitty, just spending you know, 30 seconds on it. And we have so many of those boxes. So this is actually really good to get instant gold very quickly. Now that you have gotten the instant gold from the NPCs, what's going to happen next is we'll be giving NPCs enough report so that they actually unlock a chain quest with their report level. Each of those NPCs, in order to get the teal level of report, you have to unlock two of those chain quests. So over here, you can see I have unlocked the chain quest. And after unlocking two of the chain quests, I can get another 900 gold from NPCs. One thing to notice is with Lutera, her chain quest, the first one is quite straightforward. You just run between the castles and just talk to the NPCs. The second chain quest will take you to Wisdom Island. I do believe, let me show you guys where Wisdom Island is. So this is pretty straightforward too. You can just follow the quest guide. So the, it will take you over here around Lutera. You do want to port over here and just sail to Wisdom Island to finish her second chain quest. Now her chain quest does take a little while. To finish the two chain quests with her takes about 10 minutes, but it's definitely worth it. Now as for the other NPC with Jedekro, so what his quest is, is even more straightforward. It takes about 4 minutes to do the double chain quest from him. One thing to notice is when he asks you to go to the suspicious person, the persons are located at the edge of the map. So let me show you guys what I mean by that. So the persons are located at the four corners of the location. So notice this is the location. The person are located at the four corners. Just go to the edge of the four corners and you should be fine. And a little before that, he will ask you to give food to kids. So the location is located over here and the kids are over here. They don't have an icon. You do have to interact with them to give them the food. So those are just two little things that might take a little longer. I thought I'd give you guys a tip. And he's quite straightforward. So just simply talking to NPCs, just teleporting around. He's very convenient, right next to a portal. You just level him up to do the rapport quest, get the rapport items, and get him to, you know, the tier level, and get your 900 gold. So let me just show you guys over here, me getting his gold. <laughs> this is the most important part. So I got all the rapport items to him, got him to level 3, and easy 900 gold. And this takes about 4 or 5 minutes with him. Now, unfortunately for the final NPC Livy, I actually didn't find the quest that I was supposed to do for him. So I actually couldn't, <laughs> I actually couldn't do the last 800 gold first. So if you guys do know it, let me know in the comments. We'll try to finish this one. But he's not as worth it because he gave 300 instant gold and 500, you know, rapport, two rapport gold. The other two will give 900 and also 900 gold. So I actually couldn't find this quest. So strange, right? So. What you can do when you're tier 2 is, I do recommend doing this whole chain first to get anywhere from 4,200 gold to 5,000 gold from the final NPC with 800. But if you're still in tier 1, you can do the similar method and get about 1,900 gold. I haven't done the recording for them because I spent most of my gifts on the second tier 2 NPCs. Now, if you want to get more gifts, you can get those from the daily logins. They will give some of the report gifts over here. So let me show you guys over here. So some of the daily logins over here will give you report gifts. After that, what you can do is, because you have been doing questing a lot, by doing questing, you'll be getting report points. And if we teleport over there, you can exchange for report gift bags. One thing to notice though, you do want to kind of exchange for the rapport gift bags for the NPC in the right location. So it's more like a region specialty. You might want to consider that. So you can use rapport points. Notice I have over like 30,000, close to 30,000 rapport points. We can get those chairs. There's a chance of getting something really good. And even if you don't, you get a lot of rapport points to instantly convert that into gold. I do want to remind you guys, I do believe that in order to unlock some of the rapport quests, at tier 1 level, you would have done some of the questing which give you enough stats. In order to unlock some of the second chain quests with NPCs, you do need some of those stats. Those are Wisdom, Courage, Charisma and also Kindness. Some of the NPCs requires a minimum of those stats. So if you don't have those stats, the best way to do it is to do more side quests and do the islands, do the side quests. Each of the side quests will give you some of those stats and you can even search it up for the stats that you needed. Let's say if you need Charisma, you can do side quests that gives you per Charisma. So make sure you have the requirements to do them and get those gold very quickly. And you know, this is before the reset. When the weekly reset comes, everything will become very cheap. This is when you can, you know, do a full purchase and upgrade your gears. So best of luck getting to tier 2 and also to tier 3.
Now before we finish, I just remember something on the side note, I actually got additional gold this way as well, so I thought I'd share with you guys. So one thing is, you want to look into the field boss to defeat, some of those field boss, if you defeat them for the first time, they will give you 100 gold, so which is 300 gold over here, 300 gold over here, I got 200 gold over here, and 200 gold over here. So it is the tier 2 field bosses that you can do, make sure you do do all 4 of them for the additional gold. Now if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them, and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys, and let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it. And those additional gold will add up to close to 1000 gold, which is not bad, right? So make sure you also do the four fuel bosses to get additional gold. <laughs> 